Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. We want to continue our video series on the D2 transmitter being paired with CAN bus control and the receiver. This process of a search can be used with a new transmitter with an existing radio after it's been released or with a new transmitter being assigned to a new receiver. The following method will work for a new transmitter going on to a released receiver or to a brand new receiver. Turn power on the handheld and you'll get the screen. The beginning screen will have four question marks across the top and the word stop. So when it's in this configuration after a receiver is available to us, we have to go into the search mode. Hold stop, press F2 three times, then F1 and hold. Wait five seconds and the screen will change. When it changes, let up on both buttons and watch the display. In searching, it will find all the available receivers. A receiver that has been in use that's not released will not show in this search. In this case, we found quantity 01 receivers. I stopped the search with an F1. It tells me the name of the receiver that it found. This is typically on DMAG Crane's the last four digits of the bridge serial number. When I'm happy that that is the right crane that I want to sync to, I press F2. It moves the number to the top and takes the place of the question marks. Simply hit lift and you've made your search and assignment. Now to clear the stop, I press stop and three times lift. And if this was a pre-existing receiver, as it was in this case, I'll have full control of the crane functions. And that is search and assign. The button push procedure that we showed in this video was performed on a D2 version radio. It will also work on a D3 version radio but the screen will look slightly different. It's the same button pushes. The next video will go to the next step when you have a new receiver and a new transmitter. The new receiver has a default name of no ID. And once synchronized to it, you will only have control of the e-stop and the alarm horn. To get full control of the crane system, you'll have to establish its four-digit crane identification number. And that's what we'll cover in our next video in the series.